Hi, this is the presentation video for BIS 20404 cryptography. Uh, today we are going to look at current issue SSS attack in WordPress. My lecturer is Dr. Sofia Nazwara Lee and my name is Chao Xiang Kuan. So when we talk about the WordPress, uh, it is a blog and personal website management system. It has the pause and command function and the WordPress is concerned on mutual interaction which means that the user and the broker which is the website admin can have interaction within of them maybe they can just leave a pause or command uh, cross site scripting attack so cross site scripting attack is using the vulnerabilities of the web application such as without proper character and validation or escape to insert the malicious scripting code. Uh, basically, crop site scripting attack is insert the client side language. Client side language means the sub like JavaScript, like Flash, uh, they are using to insert that particular to execute it in user browser to make some malicious intent. There are three types of SSL attack, SSL attack. This attack is mainly about the malicious script is injected directly in database by bypassing their authentication system or some uh, validation system. Uh, the target is to load the malicious script to user browser to execute. So uh, this is an example for a simple database, simple table. Uh, this is ID, user ID and command. The ID is auto increment and the user ID is based on the user register and the command is where the user that have registered and leave the command. So we can see that in the ID 1456, the command is normal. It's just like, hi, it's nice to meet you. But in the 1457, there's a script there. It's, it, it is a JavaScript. And the function of this script is to redirect to some way. In this script, the location href is to direct the user to the example.com. Uh, when the user is, at, when we team or, or we call that user is logged to this particular record, the user will redirect to example.com. Uh, so we can see there's a scenario. The attacker is insert and store the malicious script into the database management system of web server and the malicious script will load by the within browser when they want to load that record we are talking about the reflected ss attack this attack is occur when the web server or client side programming language such as java php uh, sp.net have vulnerabilities uh, the attack is modi is using the modified url spare to public with malicious parameter and argument the malicious script will forward to server and return back to user browser to execute. Uh, this is uh, two examples of the uh, malicious URL. The first one is to direct the user to www.xss.com and the second one is to get the document.cookies which mean the section of the user when they log uh, to their web browser. So uh, this is a scenario uh, which means that the within browser is access the malicious URL and the web server and malicious script will then return to the within browser and the within browser will execute the malicious script and the malicious script will re return something to the attacker lastly we are talking about the dom based ssl attack this attack is occur when there are vulnerabilities in the element of html css or javascript which allow the attacker to execute the malicious script and it is not related to server side vulnerabilities the malicious script will execute in user browser without forward to web server uh, so this is a example uh, we can see that they are not argument the shop mean that uh, there's an id there and the script src on error this this is using the vulnerabilities of the source code it is not related to the web server from the scenario we can see that the user browser is access the web server there's not my script is return or forward to the web server the my script will remain at there and return to the user browser and execute and the user browser will execute the result and return to the attacker so this is a real WordPress system in my web server. So there's not 
uh, cyber attack or online abuse in this video. So we can see that there's a post which is the first post to test. So when we move to this, we can see uh, this is our post which is in the admin panel. So we are going to add it. So we can put some malicious code in here and click up there. So uh, this malicious code is going to redirect the website, which is this one, to example.com. So let's see what happened. Uh, yeah, so now we are going to, this is a malicious redirecting. So now we are talking about the store SSS. Because this is a database, which means the backend of the web server, and this is a record when the user, which is mine, is logged to this uh, web page. So we can try one more time. When we log to this uh, web page or this WordPress system, the redirecting is happening. Yeah. So we try another one. Um, we are going to leak the we are going to leak the document dot cookies which means the section uh, currently we are logging to the admin so let's see what happened if the if the wordpress system if the wordpress system have the record which is the malicious code yeah, so we can see uh, this is the uh, this is a section that the I mean yeah so we can see oh, yeah we have to so let's see the third one so in the third one um, what we're going to do is we are redirecting to the example.com with the section. So if I'm an attacker, uh, the section will be the get parameter. And then if someone is clicking this, uh, is passing the section, then the section will keep uh, storing in the database of the attacker. So let's see what happened. So with the same thing, we just click the reload. Yeah, so. So let's see this one. Yeah. So this is how the malicious attacker is going to take the section from one side to another side. Yeah. So this is the this is part of the demo system of the video. The effect of SS, SS attack in WordPress. So the first one is a section hijacking. The attacker will store and compromise the authentication and confidential of the system. The second one is a mindshare retiring. Like the video, I sh uh, like the demo I showed before, uh, this both can happen in WordPress. So, counter measure for WordPress owner. Uh, when we're talking about the SSL attack, so the first one will be the active default configuration of WordPress because the WordPress have their uh, default configuration that can prevent the SSL attack. The second one is, a, is to update to the newest page of WordPress. The WordPress team is aware put their effort to upgrade the system and keep away from the vulnerabilities. The third one is install plugin to prevent SSS. Uh, some plugins such as prevent for SSS vulnerability can be used to prevent the SSS attack. Uh, for example, they will prevent by putting or escape the Characters such as the comma, like the uh, special character, they will it, they will enable the SSS attack. The fourth will be the follow content security policy. This is a policy announced by the W3C, and this policy is enforced to use only trusted uh, JavaScript. As a conclusion, SSS attack bringing negative effect to website. The owner should try to avoid with whatever, like maybe they can try the proper the solution that I have been used. And in future, SSS attack will be have numerous interns such as store computational power to mining cryptocurrency.
Thank you and thanks for watching.